it's finally, finally my July favorites. It's really, really fast. This year is passing crazy fast. So um, let's get started on the things I've been loving this month. I'm gonna get like the biggest item out of the way. And this is my favorite hair dryer I've ever, ever used. This is the Dyson Supersonic. It looks like this. All Dyson has this like bladeless technology, right? And this is, yeah, their newest hair dryer. It's really light, it's very small. And what I love about it is that it's super easy to use. All you have to do, I mean, you only have like four buttons over here and one controls the speed, one controls the heat, one is the off and on button, and one is for you to very easily set and cool your hair. And it's super light, it's super small, very easy for travel. And I love that they come with like, the attachments is like magnetic. And it's actually not um, hot at all when you touch it. This is really incredible. You guys really should try. And if you're thinking of getting a good, good hair dryer and you wanna look for an investment piece, definitely consider Dyson. This is very expensive, but I think um, it's made of really, really good quality and it can last you for years and years and years, especially if you are drying your hair every single day, then yeah, I think you should invest in a good one. It's just like really technology to the next level. I don't even know how to really explain what's so good uh, about this hair dryer. Why it's so good about this hair dryer, but everybody whom I know own this hair dryer says it's the best they've ever used, so. I guess it means a lot. I also have been loving the Wellness Clinic Concentrated Cleanser in number two. This is for like normal to dry skin. Um, the Wellness Clinic is the aesthetics clinic that I go to for facials and I always been, I've always been using their products. This is the cleanser that I've been using and it's specially prescribed to me because I have very dry skin and I love that it's like clear, there's no color, there's no like weird um, a lot of chemicals inside and it provides gentle yet thorough cleansing without stripping skin of its natural oils. This is exactly what it feels like with Five Essence 24K Bio Gold Miracle Finisher. This is like a really interesting product because you use it after you finish moisturizing and actually they say that even after you apply sunblock then you apply this. But what I like to do is I like to apply this before my sunblock because my sunblock is um, tinted. So I don't like like you know the, the idea of having like a clear product over something that, that is tinted. So I use it the other way around. It's like a sealer. So they call it like a miracle finisher because it seals all of the work you have done, like the skincare beforehand. It helps to serve as like a barrier against all the pollutants in the environment and stuff. And it's very interesting because it makes your skin matte and makeup after that glides on like very smoothly. So I feel that this is like a primer, just that it's a skincare version. And yeah, it doesn't clog your pores. It's actually good for your skin because it contains like little gold flakes inside that has like anti-aging properties and stuff. The Laneige BB Cushion. You guys must have seen this in my Korean haul. This is the newer one. It's the whitening BB Cushion and I'm in the shade 21 beige. I love the Laneige BB Cushion because it's um, it provides a very dewy and natural second skin kind of feel and at the same time the coverage is like medium so it's not too full but it's very beautiful as well and I love that it gives me that very translucent skin kind of look and it's not cakey it's super easy to use. I have been loving the Laura Mercier translucent loose powder. I know this is a highly rave product in the market and it took me so long to try because it's pretty pricey but um, I finally got down to trying it and I understand why so many people love it because it really gives you that soft um, super like your skin is like so super smooth you have like really good skin kind of look it's really really fine it's not cakey it's very breathable it makes your skin look very airbrushed and natural at the same time um, yeah the only downside is that it's very big so I don't know how I'm going to like travel with this or if I have to put it into a smaller pot to, to yeah. use. I mean the thing about loose powders is that it's not very convenient because you need to bring a separate brush with it. But the product is really really good though. I also managed to pick up an hourglass uh, ambient lighting blush. You guys know how much I love the ambient lighting palette that I have which is like super expensive but anyway it's really worth the money. 
and I decided to pick up the blush which was slightly cheaper I think this is about $62 it's still very exorbitant but um, yeah I just wanted to try it so look at how pretty this looks there's like marbling of blush and the ambient lighting powders inside so it's the same effect you get the ambient lighting powders kind of lit from within glow but at the same time it's a blush so the color is like it's just like whoa you know like you're blushing from within it makes you look really really healthy and it makes your skin look super good yeah and i like it that it's very long lasting as well and this is in the shade mood exposure it's a slightly plumish color and this is what i've been using for the past few days love it Loving the Too Faced melted matte liquid matte longwear lipstick um you guys know that i have super dry skin my lips are one of the driest parts of my entire body I don't know why but it just keeps flaking and flaking and flaking I have been using liquid matte lipsticks I love them because it's so pigmented and stuff but it's always always very very drying on my lips and it often settles down into the fine lines and at the I mean by like one hour my lips will be flaking and I will have to like you know take a piece of tissue and like really like rub it super hard to get all of the dead skin out before I can apply again and that is what I have been experiencing with like brands like Colourpop, LA Splash all of the famous liquid lipstick brands have all given me that problem except for this okay the Too Faced Melted Matte lip Liquid Lipsticks are like the bomb.com it is so good it's so moisturizing, it's so long lasting, it doesn't even really transfer and it feels so moisturizing on my lips. So if you are like me, you have dry, dry lips and you always experience this kind of like flaking um, with liquid lipsticks, you should really give this Too Faced Melted Matte Lip Lippies a try. They are the most hydrating liquid matte lipsticks I've ever come across and it's super pigmented, the colors are really really gorgeous. This is the shade I've been using so far, this is called um, fill in myself oh fill in myself <laughs> yeah but Too Faced always comes up with like the quirkiest names and like you know the mascara is like better than sex that's like my favorite mascara um, the Asians treatment oil for my hair it comes in a yellow bottle like this and it's like a hair oil but I love that it's not oily which is really weird because it's a hair oil but it's not oily after I shower when my hair is slightly damp I will pump a few pumps of this and like put it at the ends of my hair and it makes it look you know much better and healthier once it dries yeah and I love that it's very lightweight it doesn't weigh your hair down it's not oily and yeah it's very fast absorbing it smells great as well oh last but not least I think this is one of my best buys ever I bought the Roto Z Pro uh, eye drops from Japan I think these are only found in Japan I just googled like best Jap best Japanese eye drops and then this came up like first on the search and so many people reviewed this before it really gives me very long lasting effects so if you have very dry eyes or if you use like contact lenses like like I do then you guys need to buy this okay even though it burns every time you put it on it's it's not like the very painful kind of burn it's the very minty kind of burn um, it really leaves your eyes feeling really really energized, refreshed and the effects are really long lasting which is something that I haven't found in a lot of eye drops uh, ever since I stopped using the one I bought in France which was by Bosch and Long but um, I, you can't get that Bosch and Long one in Asia so I went to Japan and I found this and I think it's really 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 good Please ask your friends to buy and stock up on this Roto Z Pro whenever they go to Japan because you can only find it there So that's it from me guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah I hope the past month has been great and I wish you all a happy August See ya!